There are two ways to connect your PS5 controller to your laptop or PC. The easiest one is to use a Type-C cable. Once you plug in the controller, it is already connected and ready to go. But the downside when using this method is that once you disconnect the USB, your controller also disconnects. It's not like on PS5 that using a cable pairs your controller to the console. No. But luckily, you can connect your controller wirelessly too. First off, go to your Bluetooth settings on your computer, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled, click on Add, click on the first option and while the computer is searching, on your controller, hold down the PlayStation button and the button on the upper left, the controller will start flashing and it should appear. Click on it and after that, the controller is paired. When you want to turn it off, click on Remove Device. When you want to pair it again, Repeat the process shown before. If your controller does not appear, make sure that the controller is flashing like this and not pulsing. If it is pulsing, then you are pressing the buttons wrong. Hold down the PlayStation button and the button in the upper left firmly until the controller flashes like this. Keep in mind that the controller works on Steam and Epic, but it doesn't work like a normal controller. Let's say you pick a game from the Microsoft Store you will see that the controller doesn't work. To solve that, install DS4 Windows. What is great about the program is that it also has DualSense support. And with DS4 Windows, your controller will work with any game or program that has controller support. You can even use it with emulators, for example, if you install DS4 Windows. To get DS4 Windows up and running, type DS4 Windows on Google, download it from there, the software is free, extract the zip file wherever you want, open up the folder and double click on DS4 Windows. If your controller is connected like I have shown you, it will automatically appear here. That's it. Now your controller will work like a regular one. Also, if you go to the edit section, you can change the color of your light bar. You can do the same on Steam too. In Steam, click on the big picture icon, press the PlayStation button, go to settings, controller, calibration and advanced settings, and go to LED settings. From here, you can change the color of your PS5 LED. If the Steam menu is acting up and showing you only Xbox buttons while flashing the PlayStation buttons, it means that you forgot DS4 Windows in the background. DS4 Windows makes your controller be recognized as an Xbox controller and it overwrites the information in Steam. So to have PS5 buttons in Steam, turn off DS4 Windows and Steam will automatically recognize your controller and change the buttons accordingly. You can also change DS4 Windows to overwrite the button layouts to show PS4 buttons. From the Edit menu, go to Profiles, click Other and from this drop down menu you can change the button layout. But keep in mind that if you do this, even if in Steam you will see PS4 buttons, you should know that this will make your controller be recognized as a DualShock, not a DualSense. I suggest you to turn off DS4 Windows when entering Steam, to be able to enjoy the haptic feedback. But that works only on supported games. Also a bummer about haptic feedback is that it works only when you have a wired connection. Haptic feedback does not work when you pair the controller via Bluetooth. Why? Just ask Sony. Also if you don't get haptic feedback, go to sound settings manage sound devices and make sure that your DualSense controller appears both in the output and input menu. If it's disabled, click on it and enable it. Also for more advanced customization options, you can check out every menu in DS4 Windows when clicking edit. For example, you can set custom colors for battery percentage, you can tweak vibrations and many more. I suggest you to check out those menus and custom tailor your experience. I hope this video helped.